Welcome back to AM Northwest. It's strawberry season in Oregon, yes! And there's no better way to enjoy the bountiful berry than in a classic strawberry shortcake. Here to share her family's favorite recipe, we welcome back Bakes by Brown Sugar blogger Cheryl Norris. Good to see you Good again. Good to see you too. And thank you for having me back. You I'm so bet. excited to share this recipe. It's my favorite, one of my favorites. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, because who doesn't love strawberry shortcake? Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, I did clean my hands after petting uh, the doggy, so all is good. I want to make sure everybody's okay with that. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So tell me about your strawberry shortcake. Okay. So why I love the short uh, strawberry shortcake is we do homemade shortcake biscuits. Mm. They're a little on the sweet side. We add additional sugar because it's dessert after all. Yes. Uh, I only That's, I yeah. only make strawberry shortcake with Oregon berries, local berries. Okay. Because that is going to give you the best flavor. Right. Yes. Yeah. When they're local, they're, I think it is better. Okay. Absolutely. And then we have some whipped cream that we're going to whip up later. Okay. And add it to so those four simple ingredients: the okay. biscuits. No, actually, that's three. The biscuits, the strawberries, strawberry. and the whipped cream. All right, let's do it. You tell okay. me what to do. Okay, so you're going to take this half and half, yes, and you're going to pour it into the shortcake dough. So this is a combination of flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar. Okay. And then you're going to just mix it together until all of the dry ingredients are mixed into the wet. Yeah. So it's going to be a sticky, wet dough. So what did you do before baking? I mean, do you bake full time? Um, I bake part time. I work full time as an engineer. Engineer. So this is this is my part time. <laughs> then you engineer desserts at, later. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. I tell people I'm an engineer by day and a baker by there night. There you go. I have to recommend that everyone check out your Instagram because it's pretty. It's food porn to the end. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to okay. now dump it onto um, the surface, and you want to make sure it's well floured. Oops. Yep. So it's sticky. Yep. Okay. So that's one of the reasons I have you use that stiff um, this thing. Yeah, because it's really good for scraping the ball. Okay. Okay. Right. So don't be afraid to use a well floured surface. And then I have what I call bench flour. Instead of reaching into your bag or container mm -hmm. of flour, I always set flour aside. Um, and so you want to well flour your hands. Now I'm wearing gloves today because I cut yeah. myself this morning. Oh, so. Okay. Gotcha. so for food safety reasons. So then. Um, this is very much a hands-on project. So one important tool to yeah. use is a bench scraper because that's going to help you fold the dough. And how we get the layers is we fold the dough oh, okay. over itself okay. to create the layers. Yeah. So you want to do that? Yeah. So fold this like a third like you would, yep. Well, that wasn't really a, a third, third, was it? It's close. I'm not the engineer. Yeah. So. And so and then we rotate it. Okay. And we're going to so. pat it out again. So yeah, a third. Okay. Yep. Yep. There like you go. That. Okay. And we do that three times, but we'll do it twice here. And then okay. you always want to add more flour. And so because this has butter and cream in it, you can see why you would have a separate container of flour. Oh, for sure. Because you don't want to be reaching into your main container of flour and okay. contaminating that with dairy. Okay, gotcha. Um, so that's why it's important to have um, a separate container of flour. Okay. So then we're just going to pat this out to about a three-quarter inch thickness. Yeah. You can eyeball it. And then we're going to use a biscuit cutter. So mm -hmm. you always want to use a biscuit cutter. You don't want to use a glass or anything with a rounded edge because you want clean cuts. Oh, for so sure. So your biscuits rise. If right. you use a glass container, it's going to smush the edges oh, close. Oh, good point. And your b biscuits won't rise properly and they're okay. going to be all wonky. Okay. Okay, so then you just cut out I'll the biscuits. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get the tray out of the refrigerator. Okay. We have a couple biscuits from earlier. I'm trying to push this up. We there we go. Up. Okay. Yep. There you go. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell yes. you was to yeah. dip the biscuit cutter in. Oh, finger. that would make sense. Yes. I'm having trouble getting it out. Okay. Yeah, it is a little sticky. Okay. Put that in there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's helpful. Yes. It's the little things. Yes. Yeah, right? Okay, perfect. And, and you so just want to go straight down with your biscuit cutter. You don't want to twist because that will seal the edges too. Okay. So, so you always down. just go straight down. Okay. Yep. There we go. Yep. Love that. Oh, there. That's so much nicer. Yeah. Your tips are wonderful here. Okay. And then. Yes. So this recipe will typically make about eight biscuits. Okay. Eight two and a half inch biscuits. So then the next thing we do. Yes. Is. So typically we would go ahead and refrigerate these for mm -hmm. a half an hour, and then bring them out, and we would bake these on 425, and right before they go into the oven. Just brush them with a generous Perfect. amount of butter. Perfect. All right, now let's move on to the strawberry part okay. of it. So set that aside. Okay. okay, so let me get the whipped yeah. cream. I'll move this. 
You want me to move this out of the way? I'll move this out of the way. There we go. There. Okay. So I partially whip oh, this. Oh, yeah. So let me, oops. Oops. There we go. Just kind of. So this is just cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla. Perfect. And so we've got the whipped cream ready to go. Yeah. So now it's time to make a strawberry shortcake. Okay, let's do it. So pick a biscuit. Yes. I'll give you and a you biscuit. See, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. and you can see how the layers, how it rolls oh, in the beautiful. oven with the layers. And I like the sprinkling of the sugar yep. on top that you did as well. Give a little bit of sweetness. Okay. Okay, and so then I usually just break it apart. Mm -hmm. When they're warm, you can break it apart with your hands. Or you can use a knife. Okay. But you want all those kind of those craggly edges. Yeah. And then do I put the... Yep, put the berries on. So what have you done with the berries? It's just sugar? It's just sugar. Just That's sugar. it. Strawberry and sugar. Because you want to bring out that juice mm -hmm. so it can soak into... Okay. I guess we're beer. running out of time yes. here. So I okay. guess I'll take a And then whipped cream. Bite. Yep. We're going to put the recipe on our website. Oh my gosh, Cheryl. Yes. Yes. Oregon strawberries. Are the best. Mm-hmm. That's great. Thank you. That's great. Yep, recipes on the website. We'll put it on there for you. Check out Cheryl's blog, too, on Instagram. Thank you so much. Thank Cheryl. you. Great this, was great. you. This, this was great. I'm glad to be here. All right, we'll be right back with more A Northwestern. Go ahead. What's the oops about?